Has Adidas finally made a proper takedown model? I don't wanna say yes, but I don't wanna say no. What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new Adidas Copa 19.3 in the Launch Initiator Pack colorway. This is the second takedown model in the new Copa 19 lineup, bearing a retail price of $75. Now being that this is the budget option within the Copa 19 lineup, and being that Adidas does not have the greatest track record, at least as of late, as far as $80 takedown models go, this does have some stuff going for it in the fact that it does have a calfskin leather upper and it retails for $75 which is going to be on the lower end of boots at this particular tier however you also have to consider whether or not this is a good value for money option which means you have to consider what else you can buy for the same amount of money a little bit less or a little bit more which of course is the Nike Tiempo Legend 7 Academy a similar style of boot that retails for $5 less at 70 bucks which one is better which one is the better value for money we're gonna go over all of those details, including the tech specs and how these fit and feel on feet in today's video. So if you wanna learn more about the Copa 19.3, please stick around and watch the whole video. And if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $75 retail price. If you guys do end up enjoying the video and wanna see more takedown reviews on the channel, don't forget to support this one with a like and if you're new here watching for the first time don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live as far as extras go being that this is a takedown model all you get included with the boots is the box so starting off with the upper what i would expect from a takedown model in the copa 19 lineup is that it has some kind of leather and it does the copa 19.3 features a calfskin leather upper where you can see the amount of leather you get is decent but nothing too extreme or really out of the ordinary for any Adidas model, high end or low end. However, it is less leather than what you'll find on the higher end models, either the Copa 19 Plus or 19.1. It's a calfskin leather with a standard stitch construction. It's really the only boot within the lineup that has a leather upper that actually utilizes some kind of stitching rather than just being reinforced by way of an internal liner. So it's a little bit more traditional in that regard. And the quality of leather that you get here is actually half decent. It feels pretty soft. And that's really always gonna be the case with any kind of leather upper. Even if it doesn't feel super soft out of the box, as you wear them in, it softens up, molds to your feet. And that's really why I've always suggested when you are buying a lower end boot, if you can get something with a natural leather upper, that's always gonna have somewhat of a premium feel to it where cheap plasticky synthetics will always feel like cheap plasticky synthetics pretty much no matter what. Unfortunately, you do not avoid those cheap plasticky synthetics with the Copa 19.3 because once the leather ends, you end up with a cheap kind of plasticky synthetic material that actually does have more of a mesh base. It's got a decent amount of padding to it. So for the most part, I would say the thickness actually mimics that of the leather, if not being actually a little bit thicker, but you can see that they've also gone for a burrito style tongue, which I personally do have a little bit of a problem with, and we'll get into that in just a second. What is worth noting though, is that this is only $75, which is relatively inexpensive for a pair of football boots. However, when compared to the Tiempo Legend 7 Academy that we talked about in the intro of the video, those have better quality calfskin leather as far as the upper is concerned, and you actually get more leather on the upper as well. So from a value for money perspective, if you're simply after the best leather boot, the Tiempo is actually better. As for the burrito style tongue, the 19.3 actually shares a similar design to that of the $210 Copa 19.1, where the lateral side of the upper flows across the top of the foot and then tucks underneath the medial side, creating a burrito style tongue, which you can very clearly see from this particular angle. To give you guys an even better look, I've actually removed the laces here. So you can see it's a dual lace hole setup on the lateral side where the upper kind of remains one piece and then a single lace hole setup on the medial side where of course that burrito style tongue kind of tucks underneath. So it just flows over top. You can see it transitions into more of just a raw mesh material. And my issue with this is the fact that this material is quite bulky. So what you'll find, and you'll see this better during the on-feet portion of the video, and this will vary from person to person as well, you can kind of have this material bunch up and it just ends up feeling very chunky across the top of the foot, which is not, I guess, 
out of line for this style of boot, but you don't necessarily want the boots to feel too bulky. I don't ever, really ever think that a burrito style tongue is the best way of constructing a pair of football boots. I think one piece uppers are probably the way to go, but when you do it with cheap materials like they've done here, it kind of just ends up feeling very cheap, which is something that I personally don't care for in regards to this boot. So you can see the material wraps underneath. It's got quite a bit of excess material to kind of tuck underneath, but that will stretch depending on how they fit your foot. And it does have the elastic gusset as well, just to help hold the other side down. So it's not gonna move around or kind of open up too much when you're actually putting the boots on. It actually makes things a little bit more difficult when putting them on, but it's something that you do inevitably get used to. Moving to the rear of the boot, I'll switch back to this one. Of course, it does have a pretty standard low cut, nothing out of the ordinary at all. A very solid internal plastic heel counter, tons and tons of rigidity back here, which I personally do not mind. The heel liner is this really fine mesh material. It almost feels like a synthetic suede, which is not a bad thing at all. Um, actually pretty decent for this particular price point and plenty of extra padding back there as well. So as far as comfort in the heel area is concerned, it's actually quite decent. However, not surprisingly, being that this is a lower end Adidas takedown model, the insole is fully glued in as you'll find with the more expensive $110 Copa Gloro 19.2 mesh liner, single layer of foam, really nothing special. Moving to the sole plate and stud pattern, while it might look a lot like the exo frame sole plate you get on the higher end models, it's not. It's made from a completely different plastic that admittedly is a lot stiffer than what you'll find on the 19 plus and 19.1. Not to the point where it affects comfort, but it does, definitely doesn't have that natural flexibility that you do get from the higher end models. As far as the stud pattern is concerned, that is the one element that does remain consistent across the entire line, high end to low end. It's pretty much the same layout we're used to seeing from the Adidas brand, where the studs themselves are kind of like this conical bladed stud hybrid. They end up feeling more like conical studs than they do bladed studs. So the traction you get is decent, but certainly not overly aggressive and honestly actually well suited for this style of football boot so i really don't have any major issues with the sole plate or stud pattern i just wish the sole plate was perhaps a little bit more flexible and then finally there's the weight a decent amount of weight as well in a size 9.5 us the copa 19.3 weighs in at about 9.9 .9 to 10 ounces which is by no means super light you wouldn't expect these to be super light especially considering that it is more of a budget oriented takedown model however at this price point, around 80 bucks or 70 if you're buying the Tiempo Legend 7 Academy that I talked about, you can get a lighter pair of football boots. So if you're buying these with the expectation that they're going to feel very light, you will be disappointed because they're not actually that light at all. So I've swapped out the stock champagne white laces, which are gonna get dirty really easily, for some Orange Punch Reflective SR4U replacement laces that accent perfectly with the orange Adidas stripes and heel liner that you have on the boots. Same with the Copa branding there on the back. Plus, so many people end up having these exact same colorways. These make yours that much more unique. So if you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, it's a great way to change up the style of your boots in an inexpensive way. They're available at www.sr4ulaces.com. There'll be a little pop-up on screen as well as a link down below in the description. So if you're interested in a pair, be sure to go ahead and check that out. So on feet, the Copa 19.3 is actually quite comfortable. I would say in comparison to every other other model in the line above it, the 19.2, 0.1, and the Plus. This actually has the softest feel through the midfoot, mainly because it is more of a mesh-based synthetic rather than the kind of more plasticky mesh-based synthetic that you'll find on all the higher end models. So it's just not quite as stiff, which you could view as a negative, you could view as a positive, but in terms of out-of-the-box comfort, I just feel less pressure through the midfoot on this particular version. The leather at the front feels really good, and as you wear them in, it's gonna get softer. That's gonna be the case with just about any natural leather upper. The quality also feels quite decent. And the fit in the heel is actually halfway okay. I don't wanna say that it's perfect, I still think it's kind of on the shallow side, which is a common characteristic for a lot of these Adidas takedown models, but it's not to the point where the fit is actually bad or my heel is popping out. It's just something that you get, kind of have to get used to with a new pair of boots, so nothing too bad there. My one gripe here though, is that they do feel quite bulky across the top of the foot with this burrito style tongue, and mainly the material that they've used here. There's just a lot of it. It kind of bunches up ever so slightly, and they just feel a little bit more chunky on my feet than I'd like them to, but again, 
you kind of expect that from boots at this particular price point. As far as width is concerned, they actually have a pretty snug fit through the midfoot. So if you have really wide feet, I don't necessarily think that these would fit you particularly well, but I do think that they will fit most people. Just realize that they're not as wide as you might expect them to be. And then as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. So in conclusion, I don't think that the Copa 19.3 is bad. I think for the most part, the latest generation of Adidas takedown models, aside from a couple, have actually been improving rather than being worse and worse as they were for basically the last four or five years. So kudos to Adidas for actually trying to make some kind of improvement. And I would say out of all their second tier takedown models, this is probably the best one that they have on offer. Offer. However, when it comes to getting the best bang for your buck, the best value for money, which you should be considering if you're on a budget buying any pair of football boots, I just don't think that these are the best option. If you're after this style of boot, the Tiempo Legend 7 Academy is simply a better quality product. Better leather, more leather, lighter, I would argue a better fit and just more comfort overall. It's more lightweight, it offers better traction, it's just better in pretty much every single way. If you absolutely must have a Copa, you're probably not gonna be disappointed with these, but if you're just looking for the best possible product, I don't think this is it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $75 retail price. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comments, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.